Hello, this is a video tutorial of Albert Harvey's motor. Uh, over here, you can see this red indicates an exhaust port. Uh, the blue over here indicates an intake port. We can see that there are actually two intakes on either side, and one exhaust port in this particular setup. When we let's change the transparency so we can see the internals on some of these parts. You can see here that is the uh, kind of the heart of the motor. We have the drive shaft in the middle, and then we have these two different valves that open and close here. Those are the critical components of this design. The uh, piston rotor here is a very intricate piece of uh, material. I'll walk you through the rotations. We start off here. You can see over on the valves are currently partly open. However, right about here, you can see that lower uh, right valve is now closed, which means that this area here is a closed cavity all the way down to this plate that just shut. So as this rotates, you're compressing air, compressing, 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 compressing. And as you get to here, you can see that back side of that plate coming right up against the back edge of that blade. So as it rotates here, you see the bottom is con the bottom is closed, so that's a fixed cavity. The top is now closed, a fixed cavity. However, the pressure that's in there, uh, perhaps a 100 psi, is transferring from the front of this paddle to the back of the paddle. As you continue to rotate, you see this blade here is scraping the fret edge of this bottom valve and the top valve is fully closed and staying fully closed. Approximately here, right in this area, you would ignite the fuel air charge that is now behind the paddle and continue, which would then propel the paddle forward through the bottom half of this cavity, as you can see down here. So it would be right in this area would be the combustion gases that are now blocked with this paddle up here from going backwards, which would then push this paddle forward, pushing exhaust gases out the exhaust port over here as the paddle moves forward, creating new exhaust gases behind it. At the same time, these blades here create a centrifugal force as well as this paddle that you see starts off large and gets smaller, helps force air into the top half of the cavity, while at the same time the bottom half is exhausting. So it's uh, doing intake and exhaust at the same time. Once you get up to here, your exhaust gases are at that point pushed out from the prior cycle. So this top side is now filled with new air charge and it starts compressing. Now notice as you're here, these little paddles here, there's pretty large paddles and they go up to here. You have air and fuel perhaps moving in this area and exhaust moving in this area. By tuning these ports you should be able to get that so that they don't interfere with each other. And then as you rotate, notice that gets smaller and smaller and smaller as it pushes more and more air in until eventually it's completely shut off. At this point the exhaust gases are being pushed out, pushed out, pushed out, whoop, pushed out, pushed out, pushed out, and then once you get up to here you got more air coming compressed in. Quite an interesting uh, design. Let's once I get through another rotation here, Oop. once I get through another rotation here, I'll spin it around and show it at a different angle just to kind of help show it. There it goes from this angle. And we're almost done. I'll go one more rotation just to try to
I guess the last thing I should show this hole here that would be a place where a spark plug or ignition would go uh, exact location may vary and I guess that's the uh, basic overview of this video tutorial of Albert Harvey's rotary motor.